laboratory exercise for this week is using digital works which has a description of steps that we need to uh, be able to follow and you need to submit this lab by uploading your files using this uh, web form and we also have a second homework assignment which is also due around September 25 and you will need to fill in the form uh, for binary storage and conversion. There's a series of questions here for you to answer. So let's start looking at uh, the laboratory exercise in this video. Before you start, I'm asking you to download and install Digital Works, which is a digital uh, circuit uh, simulator, uh, which will be becoming familiar in this laboratory. And when you install it, unzip and install, uh, you can specify this uh, product ID, uh, which will give you a student license uh, access to all the facilities within the software. I already have digital works installed on my system. Let me get started. This is the view of digital works. And as you can see, it has a toolbox of various uh, gates that we can use to simulate the behavior of uh, digital logic uh, by running a simulator of the actual physical gates. In this laboratory exercise, we will put together uh, two possible solutions for constructing exclusive OR gate uh, from inverters and an OR gates. So there is one proposed solution using this combination of gates, and there is also a second proposed solution uh, to uh, put together a combination of gates which will also produce exclusive ore. So let's get started. And uh, once you uh, complete the work, I will be asking you to save uh, the results in a file, and you need to be able to submit uh, the resulting files as uh, your work in this laboratory exercise. I normally arrange my screen so that both of the design uh, and digital works uh, workspace is visible on my screen. And let's switch back to the first design and I'll give you an example of uh, the function of digital works. So you can see that we have uh, uh, gates uh, which have tool tips and we can start using them. So let's start with these uh, two end gates which are available right here, the end gates. So we can place these end gates on our uh, digital circuit board. We also need one OR gate right here. And we need two inverters. This is an inverter. Then we also need uh, two interactive inputs, which are these uh, specific uh, type of controls, uh, we will be able to run the simulation and change uh, the input signals. So we're going to have to have two of these on our board. And then uh, we also have this LED indicator, which helps to distinguish and make visible the outcome in the output. So we're just going to have one output. Uh, this uh, annotation is very helpful. Uh, we need to be able to annotate our work all together. So we just uh, can click somewhere in this workspace and specify that this is uh, a laboratory, uh, a second laboratory exercise, and this is uh, exclusive for gate. So we can uh, uh, change the font to enlarge it and make it easier to see. Likewise, this LED indicator will be showing us uh, the result, which is exclusive for. 
So same uh, <clears throat> annotation approach, say A, exclusive or B. So that's the result. And finally, we have two inputs, input A and input B. So as always, just leave comments in software. It's important to annotate uh, and put comments in the circuitry diagram. Once we have uh, all that we need in place, this is the selector tool. Uh, you can arrange everything nicely to be aligned and be vi visually appealing. So that's just the uh, cosmetic um, rearrangements of these uh, uh, parts. And then to make connection between the gates and other devices, we use this uh, the so-called wiring tool. So you select the wiring tool, and as soon as you uh, uh, get to a connecting point, there is a uh, tip showing up saying attach, and we can start attaching our uh, our inputs to the appropriate connections. So you can see that just uh, be careful to use appropriate uh, source and targets. You need to click at the attachment levels. So you see, you need to be able to make the connections as indicated uh, the, by the diagram. So don't make a mistake. Uh, I will just switch temporarily to this uh, selector tool to make uh, my further adjustments right here. So both uh, A and B actually connect directly to one of the inputs of the end gates corresponding to them. So once again, attach and make these connections. Then you can see that uh, these two cross wire into inverters. So I'll just, uh, you can attach in the middle of um, existing wire connection and uh, uh, my version of this will be just cross wire them like this. And then of course we can finish these connections which go directly to the input gates of our end gates. Uh, this is also pretty direct attachments right here. And then finally we connect it to our LED. Switch again to the selector and then I can make some adjustments here to just make uh, all the lines as straight as possible uh, in my design. Once the circuit is complete, you can click File and Save As, and then you can save it uh, in the file with the DWAM extension. This is the file that I'll be asking you to submit once you uh, complete your work. We can try to simulate uh, this circuit uh, by uh, turning the simulation mode on by clicking the Run button. Once in the run button, we can use this object interaction tool, and this time we can switch the inputs to zero and one. So zero uh, and uh, zero is uh, light gray uh, color, and uh, one is a solid color uh, during the simulation. And you can see that our exclusive OR result lights up signaling one whenever the inputs differ. That's the principle of exclusive OR. Whenever the signals, uh, the inputs are um, different, not equal, the exclusive OR indicates are true. As soon as they are the same, it changes to zero. So when both are, uh, when both of these are zeros, so once again, we get this result. But as long as one of them is different, it becomes a one. So make sure that you save the circuit when you're done and uh, submit it as your result. You will also need to put together either on the same diagram or in a separate uh, digital works uh, uh, file, uh, the second design. And you also can test it and see if it works correctly. So 
this is interesting to observe that uh, we have these uh, uh, two solutions uh, using end gates or or gates to implement the exclusive or just like we observed in uh, the de morgan's law equation uh, in the earlier video in our class so once uh, you're done with two of these uh, circuits i'm also asking you to run the simulation to the the, the testing but in addition to this record intermediate results um, of the outputs uh, so this is the output uh, the final output the actual exclusive or result of these inputs but you also need to add two other outputs uh, to the circuit just for the sake of testing for your convenience you can add uh, more leds uh, let's switch to uh, uh, stop uh, running the simulation and the selector tool right here and this is another led let's add them here and here and uh, we will also label these as uh, output one and uh, output two and uh, connect them by using the wiring tool to our diagram like this and like this so it's pretty simple idea just to record the intermediate results in the middle of this circuitry and i'm asking you to fill in all the results right here uh, with uh, the results of your outputs uh, and put together a small text file with this table and submit it together with the two uh, diagrams so one diagram the second diagram is the second solution to our exercise and i think it's uh, in the handout you will find it right here and like i indicated you uh, would also need to submit a text file containing this uh, uh, truth table uh, recording all of the outputs that we get out of our exclusive or gate implementation